August 2016, a dreadful flood took place in Louisiana. Over 140,000 homes were damaged, and 13 people were confirmed dead. Floods take place frequently in coastal areas. But why do floods occur? And how can predict floods? Think of our soil as a sponge. When water is being added to the sponge slowly, all water can be absorbed. As the sponge gets wetter and soon reaches its holding capacity, water moves down through the sponge due to the gravity. Likewise, when water is added to the soil slowly, all water can infiltrate the soil. However, when precipitation comes rapidly, the infiltration rate is exceeded. And the surface runoff is likely to happen. As a result, floods occur when large volumes of surface runoff flow quickly into rivers and streams. Therefore, to predict flood, we need to know how much water is contained in the soil, namely the soil moisture content. Typically, we use two methods to measure soil moisture, station and satellite. The station-based method is accurate, but only measures on that very point. Satellite can provide soil moisture for a larger area, but only at a coarse spatial resolution. To be specific, it measures every 50 kilometers with limited accuracy. So the challenge is how to combine these two methods. My research focused on soil moisture modeling with ground data and satellite data to provide accurate soil moisture of large domains, for example, the entire state of Louisiana. By using geo-information and geostatistics, we can accurately predict the soil moisture for any given time. With this precise soil moisture content, we can accurately predict the occurrence of flooding. So we can better prepare for the floods to save our lives and property, and therefore to maintain a sustainable coastal environment. Thank you.